Hello, and welcome to the Attack on Titan cast, where I am your host today, Skyler, also known as Aaron Yeager. <laughs> and I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to fill your ear holes up with a bunch of stuff you don't want to hear, but you're going to hear it anyway. That's right. Because we're not free until all of our enemies are dead. That's exactly right, Elliot. We're not free until every single person that we don't like is dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So we're coming for you, Chef Boy RD. You've been warned. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, so what's up? Uh, we skipped up, a week. Everybody? Yeah, you know, we did. We did. And uh, I will take the blame for it for this week. Um, last Sunday was my birthday, and I woke up and kind of had a mini nervous breakdown so it was uh it was just bad time you know it wasn't that good i wasn't uh i didn't want to like record and just be like super annoying and just talking like this the whole fucking episode because that'd be really annoying that, that's so okay was... i mean so, it's your birthday yeah yeah it's your it birthday. was birthday birthday and uh and I mean I've always gotten sick on my birthday in the past. It is in like the dead of winter, so my immune system is down. But like I wasn't physically sick this time around. I just woke up and felt like, oh, you know, you're just would sick. Be good to... You're just sick of yeah, everything. Just mentally sick. Like <laughs> That's okay. Just yeah. It's it was in a bad spot. It was definitely <laughs> Maybe it was just a little bit psychosomatic, like, I, we're not gonna, this isn't the, like, mental health cry for help podcast, this is the Attack on Titan cast, of course, so. Are you Batman? We, <laughs> we don't have to get into the whole, uh, you know, Elliot has sad brain, and <laughs> we don't wanna. No. I don't, I don't really feel like getting into it, you know? People, people don't come to listen to our podcast to listen to important and relevant topics they they want us to talk about like, video games yeah they want us to talk shit. about like disney they want us to talk about <laughs> <laughs> they, want us... they always want us to talk about disney they, they we talk do. so much shit like, on man, disney yeah that much shit do we talk on disney and like we get it's... comments every week <laughs> they're like man i cannot get enough of you guys talking about disney every week every fucking week Disney and I, Harry <laughs> Potter and like Kingdom Hearts and how it all relates to yeah. each other. Like I can't mm -hmm. like I mean I always get fan mail that's like Skylar, please like please relate this to Kingdom Hearts if you can, please. I mean you're <laughs> <laughs> See, and I get very similar comments, but it's like, hey Elliot Please talk more about like linguistics and shit, even though you haven't even read a full book on linguistics or know anything. You didn't even know the word etymology for a long time. <laughs> so please talk okay. more about that. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. You didn't. You know, I said <laughs> I etymology, and you thought I said entomology, and that's a completely different thing. But that's okay. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> No worries. It's whatever. This is our fucking show, man. And, you know, it could be that we come on every week and just talk shit on Disney and talk about the origins of words. And we can do that every fucking week. And, you know, it's whatever. It's a, it, That's our show, you know. But uh, I'm going to try to not do that. <laughs> yeah, do that no, as much we can't. I mean, I actually have some, like, German words that I could, uh, like, say Ooh. that mean mm. stuff hinta gedanka <laughs> that's a word right uh gedanka like well donka hinta hinta gedanka i just uh i forget what it uh what it means i just heard it, it in, yeah, i think uh, it means something thing. it must yeah. mean something hinta gedanka hinta yeah gedanka but i don't know what 
so I'm not going to try and uh, decipher it. <laughs> yeah. But it does well, mean I just, some, uh, it does mean something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's definitely a word. Uh, but I, I just heard it recently on, because uh, I tried to get back into the audiobooks, and uh, I picked up an Alan Watts book of him talking, and he mentioned it in one of his lectures, and I can't remember what he said about it, but anyway, yeah. Do you have a Do you have a fancy German word to share with us this week, Skyler? Uh, yeah, I do. I do have a fancy German word. 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 Torschlusspanik. 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 As one gets older, the feet that time is running out and important, impl- <coughs> excuse me, and important opportunities are slipping away. So it's basically like oh. you're you're getting older and you're realizing oh. that you know you can't be a doctor. <laughs> oh man, poor Schlusspanik. Yeah. Oof, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> well, that's pretty real. Yeah. That's pretty real. I mean, well, the thing with German is, like, you can, like, there are a bunch of ways to describe a certain thing in a word. Hmm. Like, you can, you can you can have a word and have it describe a thing. I know that's... How words work. Yes, yeah. essentially. Right. But with German, it's like, you know, you have like, like, okay, you have the, the word, like, the word nurse is Krankenschwester, which literally translates to sick sister or a sister who is sick. Oh, okay. It's just, uh, you know, I feel like, I mean, I japanese is probably the same way it's just very literal you know yeah yeah i've been uh i've been doing a little more kanji and as i am starting to like put it together there's like you know pieces of words that all are included within the kanji character and it's like you know if there's a line with at the top like a horizontal line with like two little uh vertical small strokes on them it's like falls under it means it's some cor- some sort of nature word uh specifically because like that piece of the character means or it, it used to mean like grass and it was like okay well then it, yeah it's super super uh complicated but and I still don't know fucking shit about it but yeah, with uh, I mean, with German, yeah. The, from what I've from what I've heard of German stuff, like I I only hear the weird. I don't want to say outlandish, but the the strange words that are like you know that mean something very specific. It's very literal. It's very yeah. literal. Like um, you've probably heard the term uh, Schadenfreude. I was just thinking about that word. Yes, yeah. So yeah. that's that's German. It's like the the the. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it's hard to explain, but it's like the feeling you get when like you get a sense of satisfaction from someone else's suffering. Yeah. Schadenfreude. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when uh, when you see somebody get hit in the balls. Yes. Fucking hilarious! The Every feeling time. of pleasure <laughs> derived by seeing another's misfortune, literally, yeah. is what it is. <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> someone gets kicked in the balls, and you're like, and you laugh at it, and it's like, that's Schadenfreude. <laughs> that's Schadenfreude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, and it's funny every time. It is. I, it is. It's a very, you know, it's it's a very literal language. And it's Man. it's very funny, and it will yeah. always be funny. <laughs> It'll always be funny. <laughs> it uh, reminds me of uh, Idiocracy, where <laughs> with the TV shows. No, returning to ow my balls, and it's just the dude getting it in the balls with stuff. <laughs> that's the whole show. Pretty great. 
pretty good stuff. Um, yeah. So we're here, another uh, another week, another episode, and I figured like we've been sucking Microsoft's dick super hard for the last couple episodes too. So I think we should talk about Nintendo. Give them a good, you know, give them the reach around, so to speak. Yep. Because we've been we've been uh, neglecting them, and there's a lot of hot shit going down with Nintendo right now. There was a uh, there was that direct a couple days ago that I didn't watch. Yeah, uh, um, I did watch it, and it was very good. Nice. Uh, I watched a I watched a like a, not a summer maybe just like a summary video that just showed like the new games coming out and like a couple seconds of each clip. And I was like, Oh, there's some pretty sweet ones that I'm excited about. They, yeah, no, um, they've, you know, like they did, uh, (laughs) sorry. I'm a little bit, uh... (laughs) no, you're good. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know they did uh the they did earthbound they did earthbound one and earthbound two they released that on the nes virtual console finally that's been something that's been I've, like i feel like everyone's been wanting for a long time mm-hmm. i mean most people mm-hmm. want earthbound three yeah. uh whatever it's called but that's probably never going to get released because they <laughs> I can't go That's... I can't go too into detail on it because uh they the reason why they aren't going to release it ever is because they they talk about trans stuff. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Um wow. And not in a very positive way oh. i should say <laughs> <laughs> and that's all i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna mm. leave it as but they did release the you know they released earthbound one earthbound two which is cool that's pretty sweet both very good games good yeah. rpgs jrpgs however you want to approach it as yeah that old style that like undertale straight up ripped off you know pretty much yeah yeah which i mean undertale's fantastic i have no complaints i'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say it's you a killed Toriel. clone because it's not <laughs> you, i did you yeah did. your first i don't you killed Toriel. i didn't understand that like i could not kill her yeah, you know you could be a the pacifist way was, <laughs> the whole game the way it was <laughs> set up it was like you know she was just like oh you have to fight me to go. Like, I'm not going to let you go. And I'm like, yo, I have to do this. So I guess I'm going to kill the, like, only nice figure that I've known of the game. And then I don't think I killed anybody else except uh, uh, the, uh, I forget her name, but she was, like, the general chick with the eye patch. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't remember her yeah. name. And then at the end of it, uh, Sans didn't fight me, which was cool, but, uh, the king did, and I had to kill him, too. So that was the only three kills I, I, like, did in the whole game, but... That's fair. Yeah. Except for Toriel. I mean, man. Yeah. (laughs) She, like, (laughs) like, she, like, begs you not to kill her. (laughs) Like... Are you kidding? (laughs) I didn't think there was any other way. I was just like, no. I, I mean, have I, mean to go. I mean, I can see on your first playthrough. Yeah, it's like she just like she kind of begs you not to kill her, though. I don't think because <laughs> she kind of gives up I halfway through. I didn't. Uh, I didn't feel good about it. I was just like, you wow, this game is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I can't. I and didn't undying. know what to do. Undying like I didn't want to die. Chick that you were thinking about. Oh, and undying. she's like the yeah, other yeah. one that like comes out at you. It's like, hey, you fucking killed this bitch. Yeah. And then like the like, last well dude deserved. is as as gore, and he's like, yeah. 
Like, it's basically his job to kill you. So, it's okay. I mean, yeah. Undertale is a... Undertale is a whole different monster of a story. Yeah. But, man, it's just really crazy good, though, that you but... killed fucking Toriel right I... off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> She's I like the tutorial think about the game, to show man. you that you don't have to kill people. <laughs> well, they did not <laughs> make that explicit. They, Obviously they made not. It... <laughs> like, if there was some sort of, like, hey, you stupid piece of shit, you don't have to kill this lady, like, pop-up or something, then I would have been okay. But, like, I But instead, she I just, like, know. begged for her life. And was like, yeah, no, and I was just, like, kill me. forcefully attacking <laughs> because like, I didn't know what oh, else yeah, to do, and I didn't want to die. <laughs> like, like I'm going to die to the first boss? Come on. That's embarrassing. And so instead, I kill the first boss, and she's just, like, a mom figure. So I'm I'm an evil, <laughs> evil person. Yeah, I mean, you are. But it's okay, because that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what the game is about. <laughs> Very quick to agree with me on that. I like that. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's what it is. It's what the game's it's like, about. Yeah, you are an evil Yeah, you're person. evil. That's fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, I, what, what can I say? Like, you kill her. You're a monster. Yeah, I'm, I'm a monster. I'm a monster, ladies and gentlemen fuck but yeah earthbound that's pretty sweet that's cool oh yeah we're talking saw, about nintendo um, stuff uh yeah uh yeah. chrono cross chrono cross yeah kind of a, i mean i watched you play part of that yeah i mean it, it's, it's kind cool. of a big deal and in, in the way that like final fantasy 8 was a big deal when it came out it's just mm. you know it's it's one of those games from the early her late nineties, I should say, that has a very it's like Undertale. <laughs> it's like Undertale, you know. It has a very strong fan base that, you know, people know exactly how the yeah. story plays out, no matter what choice you make. Mm. Huh. I just remember at one point when I was watching you that, like, you were the main dude and then something weird happened and then you were playing as, like, a tiger guy because you, like, <laughs> switched bodies with him or he, like, stole your body, so then... Yep. Uh, yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. I don't remember, right. like, any of the details. I just remember that you were, like, a tiger dude or a lion dude. If you want to know what I, I, was like, I oh. remember, I remember playing that game and then we went to carlos liquor <laughs> carlos liquor store shout out to carlos <laughs> yeah i hope he's still there <laughs> i hope so too dude and we really... bought like a cheap 20 dollar bottle of vodka and drank it we chased it with water <laughs> oof it's rough <laughs> I know it's rough, but uh, yeah. Like the old, the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. But yeah, that was that was around the same time, and because I, I remember you playing. Um, uh, oh my god, what's the name of that game? It actually got a remaster on Switch. Uh, Grandia. Grandia. Yeah, yeah, you played the, the yeah. first Grandia, and I pretty much watched watched you play the whole game, except mm -hmm. for the last part, and then like oh, yeah. I passed out, <laughs> and like I woke you like, I woke up or you woke me up. Either way, like I remember waking up and you were like doing the final boss, and it was like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert, like most JRPGs, the last boss is like a god. Is god. So, yeah. yeah. Pretty sweet. I think uh, there's there was a Grandia, Grandia 2, like HD thing on the Switch that I meant to buy and I forgot. Because I, I never played Grandia 2 and I hear it's fantastic. Like, that one has a bigger following than the original, I think. But I know at the very least the Grandia you played is on the Switch. Mm. Yeah. 
Cool. Uh, which which is cool that uh, you said that because I did when I was watching the video of the uh, the Nintendo Direct. I saw that Front Mission is getting like a a port to the Switch. Yes, and Front Mission that one ties. And two. Yeah, ties super close to my heart because when I was a child and when I first picked up Grandia for the PS One, me and my brother. It was in like a bargain bin with I want to say it was it was either Front Mission 2 or 3 and I can't remember. But we got Front Mission and Grandia. And so I played a hell of a lot of whatever entry that was in Front Mission and I think that was the first like mech game that I ever or not game but I mean even mech yeah. like piece of uh I can't. I can't think of the word. No, I know what you're but, talking you know, about. It's like yeah, you know, it's yeah. a mech game. Yeah, it's a mech game. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited about that. That's that's gonna be sick. Yeah, that's gonna be really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Nintendo I, Direct was uh very good. I would say. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I did see that there's like a big Mario Kart DLC, but it's like <laughs> thirty bucks. So like, why the fuck am I gonna spend another thirty bucks on this game? Is it not for sure? Is it, Mario Kart Eight is in the works, I think, or nine. Nine, yeah, nine yeah. would be the one that's next. But is is the is like all the DLC? Is that for like if you bought the fifty dollar Switch membership pass, whatever thing? Mm. No, I don't think so. I think it's just a separate like. Oh, okay. Hey, give us another twenty five bucks and you can play. I think they, like, I think it's kind of worth it if you're a huge Mario Kart fan because it, uh, like, like that. So uh, that's cool, but fuck, I'm not gonna spend another thirty bucks. Yeah, on it. no. I mean, I'm not. I mean. <laughs> I know they have like the map that we played and that was like like do you remember uh that guy that we played on the bus with a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on the three D S Mario Kart. Yeah. There's that yeah. like and it was only one map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> There's that map is available apparently. So and it's like super it's memed super hard because like it was yeah. you know the only map available on the 3ds <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah for like multiplayer if you're uh if you didn't own the game right yes because like if if your friends all had the game then you could all play like the full game together but it was like but if only I think one he was person, the only one who yeah, had if it. only one person yeah. owned the game then you could only play that one map <laughs> yeah you could only play the one map and it, you could only play as the shy guys yes so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh yeah mm. yeah so fuck that yeah. fuck mario kart Fuck um, Kingdom Hearts. Apparently. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it just needs another console to live on, man. So that's why. Apparently, and apparently, it does, I guess it doesn't even work. Like, properly. What? Really? Yeah, no. Like, if you bought the... Wow. Wh like, what is it? It's like 90 bucks. I think it's yeah, like 80, for 70 bucks right now if you buy it on sale. Mm. But it's 90 bucks total if you buy one through three and everything in it it doesn't work properly <laughs> yikes <laughs> it's kind of sad it's super sad that's terrible man i definitely like considered it for a second because i was like oh you know i don't own all of the games on one console but i do own <laughs> like 1.5 and 2.5 on ps3 and i think i i thought i had another one somewhere maybe not no i had uh 358 days over two on the ds yeah, <laughs> yeah. i mean however that fucking game is managed now it's stupid fucking madness fucking you can just get it on ps4 you can get all of them on ps4 one two and three with all the mm. bonus bullshit if you care about it 
uh, yeah, the final, <laughs> final remix drop. The only thing you weren't going to get is, the, like, uh, the whatever Kyrie story. The uh, Is it, like, 2.8 final chapter prologue chapter one? Pretty much, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> it is. It really is. Yeesh. Yeah, it's, it's it's sad. I mean, fucking Kingdom Hearts, man. It's I mean, fantastic games, but Jesus. Yeah. Every single console known to man now. Yep. They they tried to do the Kojima thing, but it was just it wasn't you know as mm. apt or as. I don't know what you'd call it. It just wasn't... Well executed? No. Um, well, yes. It wasn't as well executed. Hmm. Hmm. That's too bad. Yeah. I did... Uh, I went through the... Because um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Arceus, I don't know how to pronounce I always said Arceus, but... That sounds uh, right. Yeah, I've been hearing that it's fucking fantastic, that it's super good. Yes. So I have too. I went, I went to the eShop and I was like, okay, maybe I'll buy it. But then I started browsing like upcoming games. So I wrote down a list of stuff. But this was all even before last week, so it's kind of outdated. I did write down. I had to mention Kingdom Hearts coming out on February tenth. LOL. And <laughs> um, this other one. <laughs> let's see. What else did I write down? Uh, uh, triangle strategy. I'm stoked for that game. Yeah, that look one. That one looks so pretty good. good. That one looks really good. Um, yeah. If we're talking about stuff that was coming out during the uh, direct uh, live alive, definitely yeah. is another one that caught my attention. I've I, I'd heard about it before. And I, I've never played it, but it's a, you know, it's a SNES art Super Nintendo, for those of you not in the know, SNES. Mm. I didn't catch it when you first said it, so yes. thank you for clarifying. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It was an uh-huh. RPG, JRPG, that was specifically a JRPG. It was only released in Japan, but... Mm. uh. I mean, it looks great. It looks amazing. Uh, Man. I did see the couple seconds of it that it was like, they took the, that Octopath Traveler, like, art style that they're doing yep. is so cool. I yeah. fucking love it, man. Yeah. I think uh, Dragon Quest Three is getting that same kind of... Ooh. It's like HD pixel graphics. It's so cool. Yes. I mean, it's, 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 so it's cool. perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah, like it's not, you know, it hasn't been released, but it's perfect for the medium. Um, yeah, as far yeah. it really hits that that like pixel graphic nostalgia, but it's like you know, it's still updated. It's updated. It's in for new my graphics. modern HD sensibilities. You know what I mean? Yes. My. <laughs> <laughs> my spoiled eyes i can't fucking play a game if it's not in at least like 1080p now you gotta know? be 60 like, fps it has to be 1080p yeah. it has to be you know it has to be all these things and it tries to be all these things <laughs> <laughs> i dig it though but yeah uh live alive triangle strategy was is is gonna be sick i played that uh I think you you played it too when it first yeah like, the triangle strategy I don't know if it was an alpha or a beta test of where it was just project triangle strategy it's pretty sweet it's like a uh, it's like fire emblem meets octopath traveler is kind of how I pretty much yeah it. yeah yeah that's pretty much how it is and that's fine because octopath was uh. It just felt like a very beta, like a, yeah. a beta, like feeling out how uh, these RPGs could work mm-hmm. kind of thing. 
You got farther yeah. in Octopath than I did. Yeah, I put a good 40 or 50 hours into it. I'm not finished with it. I hit a point where uh, I actually have to like do some level grinding to beat bosses and stuff. But the way it was set up with like you have the eight characters and they all have their own like story and you play through each chapter of their story as you go along and it was really fucking cool. Mm. I really liked it. But it uh yeah, it didn't uh it didn't deliver on as much of the like party interactions inter inter party reactions yeah. to things going on. At least not early was... enough for me to keep interested in it. <laughs> yeah. And even then like I uh, I think I started with the scholar dude who was like the mage and like you pick the one that you start with and they're just locked in your yeah. party until you finish their story and, and I was like okay so this dude's just super <laughs> yeah super over leveled but it was cool that like whenever I would start another chapter of anybody else's story I would always get at least his reaction to what's going on and he was like you know the nerd guy so he always had something interesting to say that's probably the best that was probably the better way to do it because i picked the like tank the like knight oh guy yeah. right off the bat and he old, never old said, brick yes and he never said anything <laughs> until <laughs> like <laughs> like he didn't say anything until like after i had done everything <laughs> Damn. yeah like you know i had spent like a tw- like a good 20 hours into the game and got everybody unlocked and was finally into the whatever mid game, I yeah, guess you would like say. Like need of it, yeah. But like he never said anything. <laughs> just didn't he was say just anything. there. He was just like <laughs> like <laughs> like oh, there's a, this girl by the sea and she's uh whatever. I'm not gonna say anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> Except for like one or two things, if yeah, that, Mr. it was just strong, silent type. Yeah, fucking indispensable for the party makeup, though. Like, I think the the optimal group that I had was a uh, mage who I couldn't switch out, Ulbrich, the uh, the dancer rogue chick. Yeah. And uh the I think the huntress chick. I think that's who I ran. No, no, uh Ophelia, the priest chick. Yeah. That was that was the party makeup I had that carried me through most of it. And then I had to switch to one of the lower one of the characters I wasn't leveling and do their story, but then they just kept getting killed and I was like, "Ah, so I had to actually like go grind and stuff and Really good game, but I think uh, Square Enix is getting their shit together with uh, with what they did with Octopath, and you know they're going to implement that with their future games. So that's cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah. The one criticism I have of Square Enix is all of their fucking RPGs have the same exact title font. And it's driving me, it drives me crazy. Like, triangle strategy. It's just in white, underlined with, like, I don't know. It's like, it's not like Times New Roman, but it's like, you know, yeah. Times or something. But then it's like, that's the exact same font for Octopath. Same font for Bravely Default. Same font for, there's one more that I can't, <laughs> that I can't think of. But it's like, oh, I wonder if this is a Square Enix game. Because it's two words in white font with a specific style underlined every time. So whoever is there, like, I don't know, I guess they don't have a uh, a department for title art because <laughs> it's just the same fucking shit every time. No, no yeah, because <laughs> Kingdom Hearts has been the same fucking shit every time. <laughs> but... <laughs> No, I know what you're talking about. It's yeah, it's like it's just you know they're they're completely different games, but it's like they were all it's made like they by throw Square it into Enix, Microsoft so. Word and they're like, oh, this looks good. Yeah, and I Basically. mean it does look good. It looks good. It's clean, 
but like god damn change it up a little bit you know yeah. fucking <laughs> using the same exact goddamn font every time it's cool though it's cool it's cool um Fire Emblem is getting the Dynasty Warriors treatment for at least for three houses, which is pretty oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, it's getting the, yeah. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors was, I really liked those games. I only played, like, two of them. I think Extreme Legends 5, I think was the one I played the most. Yeah, I mean, they've been, you know, they've been present for, like, every single uh, you know, like PS2, PS3, PS4. They've been on yeah. every single console. <laughs> yeah. And then they have fucking Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors and... Persona Striker. There's another one. Yeah, I think... Uh, isn't that... Uh, Persona 5S. Yeah, it's not Striker, like a, I think it is that style. Musu, yeah. isn't that what the genre is? Musu. Yeah. And it's just, mm-hmm. you know, you, you're, you like, taking out generals and stuff or whatever. Yeah, straight-up fighting wars and things. That's where all of my knowledge of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms came from, is, the, is those games. Yeah, Lu Bu. You, you, like, you, you either are playing as Lu Bu or you are playing against Lu Bu. Yeah. You don't fuck with Lu Bu, man. <laughs> no. His fucking red war horse and yeah. He's a monster. And which apparently was a good thing back then. Yeah. Like he was I don't know how accurate those games are to real life. I don't think they're super accurate considering Probably the, not. <laughs> considering there was like, you know, magicians on each side and um Yeah. A lot of magic and tigers and Chinese stuff, which was pretty sweet. Yeah, fun games. I like that. I like that action style. So, I agree. I do too. It's uh, I don't know. I just remember like playing with my friend. He was like, "Do not pick you. Like, if you're gonna play against me, do not pick Lu Bu." <laughs> <laughs> And so that was like the the meme, you know. It was like, mm-hmm. don't pick Lubu, and it was it was apparent like he was very like I think he was like a like a Naginata like a dual sided Naginata thing, and like on his war horse you could just fucking spam it. Yeah, <laughs> and that was pretty much why <laughs> you couldn't play as him is because he was just fucking OP. He was yeah. It was- fucking broken honestly just a bad motherfucker man yeah let's see what else was there with the nintendo direct uh let's see we talked about live alive kinda sorta yeah i don't know enough about it to to get into it unfortunately that was like one of the things i i saw during it that was like oh my god that looks fucking amazing it's like i don't know it it, you know you you uh take the role of a character in different places in time like there's a dude that's like a a gunman in the in the old west and there's a fucking other dude that's like a like in in the prehistoric era Mm. and so you sort of play through each of their scenarios and i don't know i mean it looked really interesting it looked very interesting uh as far as you know jr i need to go back and watch was there like a whole presentation of it yes i mean like it was kind of a big deal because it's a Super Nintendo RPG that was kind of, I guess, ahead of its time. Mm. But, you know, it got outshined by Kirby eating a car. Yeah. 
which was funny. <laughs> My game looks awesome. <laughs> but That Kirby one? Yeah, Kirby. And- I saw the couple seconds of it where it was like, oh, Cone Mouth and Cube Mouth. Yeah, like, he, oh, eats cool. a, he eats a fucking entire car and he can drive around <laughs> as Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> the car in his mouth. Awesome. Fucking Kirby, dude. I... He's cool, I guess. I've I think I've only played a small bit of maybe it was the first Dreamland on Game Boy pre Game Boy Color, like original Game Boy black and white Kirby, you know what I mean? I had that. I played I don't think I've played a Kirby game since. I I know I played I played one on the Wii U Virtual Console. I think it was 64, like the Nintendo 64 Kirby, so probably not the best one. Uh, yeah. But uh, I know I like I had a friend in middle school that was like super into Kirby, and he had the, you know, Super Nintendo Kirby. Nice. Uh, I can't. I can't remember the name. It's on the virtual console now. It had like twenty different games on it, but like there was like one main game, and there were like twenty different other little mini games you could play on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh. It's Sakurai's favorite character. You know, as really? far as Smash Brothers stuff goes, oh. like, yeah, that makes sense. Kirby's a really well-rounded Smash character, I think. Yeah, uh, his his shit, his move set is pretty easy to pick up and learn, I think, and it has it has some solid coverage. His down air when he turns into like a spiky ball or a stone or whatever yeah super good yeah super good move yeah i feel like the game is balanced around kirby probably (laughs) probably i mean it's It's definitely not balanced around bayonetta anymore no it's not anymore (laughs) (laughs) oh man yeah those were the days but not anymore same with cloud Cloud fucking yeah, fucking cloud, dude. I swear to God. Up tilt, Every up time tilt, you played cloud and just caught me in that yeah that up tilt fucking uh, trap, and I would just get so mad. <laughs> yeah, I was like just up like, tilt, up tilt, up tilt, me. up B, and then just psh, just com- wombo combo. Yeah, yeah I mean they ridiculous. they they fixed it. Kind you know they fixed the game. Yeah. I still haven't gotten the second DLC for no, Smash Ultimate. Either. I thought about it. I saw, you know, I saw Sora on there, and I'm like, oh my god. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I just, I don't play it enough, you know? I don't play it enough to warrant the 25 bucks that it costs yeah. to buy all of them. I mean, I'd have to get Minecraft Steve. I'd have to play yeah. Sephiroth and Pyra and yeah. Mithra. And men, the that chick with the arms, that was a game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some game that I never played. Fucking Wild Punch Out or something. Yeah, I, I forget what the fuck it was. Like I just curly Q arms. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The chick Man. with the wild arms. Like she's the only other random one I can think of. Oh, Wild Arms. I think maybe that was the name of it. No, <laughs> she has no. Wild Arms, but she isn't oh. from Wild Arms. <laughs> what the fuck is Wild Arms then? Why is that coming to it's mind? It's a JRPG from like the PlayStation era. Oh, okay. It's like, okay. You know, people think of Chrono Trigger, Wild Arms, or Chrono Cross, Wild Arms. It's that same kind of era. Mm, Breath of Fire. Right, yeah, Breath of Fire. I guess that's, I think that's NES. Yeah, that sounds right. I see. What the fuck is the name of that game then? The, that boxing game with the crazy arms. Yeah, 
I th- I could have swore it was called Wild Is it Arms. Called but Wild no, Arms. Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it, it sounds plausible, but I don't think it's called oh, Wild Arms. Oh, I don't Arms. fucking know. Her name is. Oh, Min it's Min. gonna drive me crazy. What is it, Min Min? Min Min. Min Min. Find it out right now because it's gonna drive me fucking crazy if I don't. Uh oh, it, the game is just called Arms. Arms. That's it. okay. Yeah, and you use okay. the 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 punch joy cons to yeah. punch and stuff yeah yeah beat your family that's right and they're, they're releasing a new uh uh what is it uh fucking we sports <laughs> A second there. I saw that too. Yeah, I was like, "Oh boy, and I haven't like fucking wee bold stuff like that." And yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like, oh, a reason to actually use the fucking nunchuck controllers, the Joy Cons. Yeah, besides as uh, motion controls. Besides that, like game one two switch. That was the only game they like ever. Yeah, did and that the... one looked so lame. That one looked really lame. It looked like what you would play with your family for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. And now the- it was like the like the Wii Carnival mini game game. The yeah, it was fucking fucking lame. So. So now there's gonna be a you know, of the Switch Sports Switch thing. Sports. I guess that's cool. Yeah. So they updated the like bowling alley, so it looks like a sick ass bowling alley, and the <laughs> the sword fighting arena looks looks pretty dope. Yeah, now you can like actually it's like fun. block attacks and stuff. Apparently, yeah, huh. that's fun. That's cool. I mean, it's like five six years late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When they're, I mean, the switch is still. I was. <sighs> It's not towards the end of its lifespan, but it's God, it's get, it's got to be getting close, no, right? But if you no? if you well, no, no, you're right, it is. But if you compare like the time when Wii Sports came out, Wii Sports was like what sold the Wii. Yeah. Like. Yeah, it was like a launch title, right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it was. Much. I mean, if you think about where we were when the Wii was popular. I mean, remember oh, yeah. even Anne. Anne knew what the Wii was. Mm-hmm. And and she was old. She was like eight. <laughs> she was an eighty. <laughs> I know. She was like fifty, sixty. But she knew what it was. She was but old. Still, yeah. And she and like they had one. And it was like she knew what it was. <laughs> yeah. I do remember uh I remember at one point there was like a news article that was like, Oh look, Wii Sports is the highest selling video game of this year and it was like, Oh, because it fucking comes with because the Wii. Because it comes console. with the Wii uh, console. Like, <laughs> that also comes like, with like nobody Netflix. is buying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only like, reason nobody fucking bought the Wii for you know, just the Wii by itself. Nobody ever did that. It was always like the sp- Wii Sports came with it. Yes. So that was why it was the most pop- popular game like <laughs> ever sold is because yeah. it came with the console and people and the console was only like a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, it was it was decently priced for but it was also like kind of jank as fuck. Yeah. You know? I mean it was hard it, was, it cool. was hard to get for a long time, but then when you could get it, it was just jank. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like it was a it was a sweet idea that you know they could get motion controls in on a video game and you know make it casual enough for old people to know what it is. So that was cool and all, but yeah, I <laughs> I remember it was like they started a whole thing that was like, hey, look, motion controls in video games is gonna be so cool. And then Microsoft was like, hey, let's make the Kinect where you don't even need a controller. You just move your body. And then Nintendo's like, nah, fuck that model. Wii U. 
We're going back, <laughs> we're going back to normal consoles. <laughs> so the Microsoft was like, oh, what the fuck do we do with this that we just invested a ton of money into and now it's garbage. Basically, yeah. I mean, yeah. and at that point, Smash was already very popular. Mm. And uh, Meta Knight was the most broken character in Smash. Ooh. We're talking Brawl, Brawl right? Brawl, yeah. Wii. Yeah. Which had the best, like, adventure mode, you know? It really yeah, did. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. What was it called? Uh... uh I don't remember, like Galactic something. Conquest or some bullshit like mm. that. <laughs> something with space in the title. Yeah, it was. It was like yeah. space something, space time adventure, space galactic something dumb. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it was cool though. It was it was fun. Yeah, there was a, yeah a lot of fun to be had. <sighs> Looking back on it now. It was a uh, very inherently broken, <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> uh, like I said, uh, Meta Knight was very, very broken in such mm-hmm. a way that like all you had to do was wiggle the Wii remote and he was invincible. Jesus, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. And then the Wii U came out and it, life was good for a while. Yeah. But it didn't <laughs> last. No, unfortunately. unfortunately. Yeah. I did see uh coming up Rune Factory 5. Have you played I th- I thought you played one of the Rune Factory I played games. Rune Factory 4 on the DS, oh. 3DS. How was it? Very good. Uh nice. It was, you know, I mean, the, like, characters you could romance, they were very basic, but ah. it was, uh, essentially you, you, like, became, like, a dragon took over your body and you became a god-like entity. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a farming game? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's awesome. And so, like, Holy like shit. part of the game was farming. Part of the game was, like, you know, wooing all, like, villagers. Or, you know. Yeah. Y- it was kind of like The a, other half of a farming game. Yes. Like, uh, Stardew Valley style. Stardew. Yeah. Or, uh, Story of Seasons. Story of Seasons, where there's, like, Played the other characters in the town, and you can, like, woo them and eventually marry them and date them and blah 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 yeah but you were essentially a like dragon prince that was godlike from the beginning and there's a bit of an (laughs) rpg element (laughs) and just decided to run a farm essentially i have ultimate power and now I'm going to go grow some carrots. Yes. Yeah, no, that's exactly <laughs> it. You would grow some carrots and then you would go and like, oh, I'm going to go and uh, do a quest or something. But at the same Man. time, I'm going to tr- try and woo the captain of the guard who is this blonde haired paladin chick. In... Nice. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that was coming out. Rune Factory 5. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty dope. Like. I really I enjoyed what I played of Stardew Valley and I don't I never played a I never played a Harvest Moon game but I know you you played the one that was Yeah, I had that one on the Wii uh Har- Friends of Mineral Town. Mm, mm-hmm. And that was the one uh I think like Dakota, he had played it, so he had known about it. But it was uh-huh. basically the same, you know. You're a farmer, and you get thrown into, yeah. you know, you get a farm, your grandfather or whatever is dead, <laughs> and they're like, hey, you need to take over this farm. And so you take over the farm, but you also have to start dating all the women in town, because that's... Because <laughs> that's what your grandpa did. 
Hey, God damn it, you're going to carry on his legacy. <laughs> you're damn right, I am. You're <laughs> damn right. That's why I like... It's a very... <laughs> wow. That's why I like Stardew Valley, because it's... <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah, dude. It's a very uh very Midwest lifestyle it's kind what of thing. What I would do. Like, yeah, it's a Midwest <laughs> lifestyle. Like you're gonna drop some of that. You're gonna drop a whole fucking thing of uh whatever cream cheese, you're gonna get a crock pot, you're gonna fill it full of cream cheese. Cause that's a Midwest thing mm-hmm. to do. It's a Midwest thing to do. Take over your grandpa's farm and I mean your life was basically shit before you get the letter that's like hey death in the family but you got a farm and guess what this farm is in a town full of cutie pies (laughs) so yeah (laughs) p.s i'm dead love grandpa i'm dead at least they like (laughs) you know tried to make the cutie pies cut fragile in some way yeah like like real life girls yeah yeah i definitely know about that because i know a lot about women but you can also be friends with dudes too in stardew valley Uh, and i like that a lot like there was that one guy uh, alex i think no not alex but there was alex was one of them yeah alex is one of them he's like the jock dude but there was like another guy that was like a alcoholic (laughs) And he, like, tried to kill himself oh, yeah. or whatever. And it was super sad. Oh, man. Shane? Yes, Shane. I think that was his name. I, I, I actually played... I got his friendship level up because his story was... It cut me to the bone. Yes, he was Marley's, uh, like, grand, like nephew or whatever. And he was just helping out. Yeah. And then eventually he overdoses on uh, beer. <laughs> because, you know... <laughs> It's starting out. You're going to say ketamine. Yeah. You can't overdose on <laughs> meth or whatever. So, yeah. Just <laughs> you just getting... find him with a needle in his arm. <laughs> you have to make him puke. To like... make him, you have to fucking stick your fingers <laughs> down his throat. That's a dark game, That's man. That's a... <laughs> yeah, it's very dark. I was a big fan of the homie Elliot who lived by the sea writing poetry oh, yeah, in his cottage hair. he had the long yeah hair. with that long hair and he he took the he had the profile shot instead of the like everybody else had a full on the bottom when you talk to him in every rpg with the picture of the character but he had the you know yeah. turn to the side yeah i think beautiful man <laughs> he was a beautiful man <laughs> <laughs> i think chick i went with in stardew valley was a uh, penny she like lived in the trailer mm. with her mom who drove the bus but oh. her mom was an alcoholic damn <laughs> and like her mom got i don't think she got fired but she like had the bus suspended because she was drinking on the job it was like a oh. whole thing it was really sad man i romanced uh abigail the like purple haired oh, purple haired gamer chick, chick who might yeah. may or may not be the daughter of the wizard what i did okay i didn't know that you didn't think about that i didn't She's think Pierre's about it daughter, no. right he's the uh yeah at the store yeah he's the like nerdy looking fuck but he yeah. may not be her father the uh... wizard might be her father uh have, i don't know if they both have purple hair is like the, uh-huh. and there's some other things too but like yeah her whole story was like she was super sad because like her life was just boring as fuck and she wanted to escape to like a video game world and there was a one of the one of the scenes where you meet up with her at the graveyard and she's like hey check this out and she has like a sword and she's like one of these days I'm going to run away and live a life that's more fulfilling and full of adventure, not like the, you know, sad existence that I live right now. And I was like, oh, God. Yeah, that game like, is so, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I mean, if you, if you go deep into any of the characters' lives, it's it's very depressing. Well, not depressing, but, like, real yeah yeah it's uh I should say real 
it's yeah. whoever did the writing for that game fucking kudos like for real it was all just that well one done. dude concerned really me. yeah i didn't know it was just one guy wow yeah pretty much i i mean i think i'm pretty sure it was all just concerned ape and mm-hmm. he just did everything and as the game got bigger he hired a couple more people he's Damn. doing that new game like the chocolatier that i'm definitely probably going to buy right off huh. the bat but i haven't uh i haven't heard of it yeah it's pretty cool it's uh it kind of... do you remember that like uh proof of concept kind of thing i talked about where it was like uh it was stardew valley except darker yeah that you were telling me that it was super it was uh... something i had if i could make something like that which i couldn't because i'm you know not a game designer but it would be like yeah. the same kind of thing it would be like uh you know You'd have the whole farming thing going on, but there would be something bigger going on outside of it. Yeah, yeah, where you were like, uh, you would just play like a a farmer dude in a village, and like, you know, you would be concerned about what's going on in your village, but like, there's some sort of war going on in the background that, you know, depending on your choices could influence the direction of whichever factions and then like that would have consequences later on in the town and you know if you decided to side with like the imperial forces and but then they would they'd be like okay cool but then they institute a draft and like your friend gets drafted and dies or something yeah it kind of seems like what's what he's doing but i don't know yet i mean it's hard to say that's interesting that's pretty sweet i mean fuck stardew valley was goddamn 10 out of 10 dude super good game no i still go back to it sometimes and play it just uh i have it on the switch and on my pc so it's like yeah oh nice Yeah, man. Look at that, folks. We made it a whole hour just talking about Nintendo. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We fucking did it. We did it, boys. We did what we set out to do. That's right. Again, I'm sorry, everybody, that we skipped last week. I, yeah... If we hadn't skipped last week, I would have, like, put a bullet in my teeth or something. It would have been the best episode you've ever heard. It probably, like, oh, man. That's just the way it goes, you know. Yeah. Sometimes. It would have been me bringing up, like, you would bring up some topic, and I'd be like, yeah, that's cool. By the way, have you ever felt completely empty inside? Like... (laughs) And that's not as fun. That's not a fun conversation. No. That's not what people come not. here to, to listen about. So, no. you know. Just like I, I <laughs> sunk my teeth into infinity and I released my key into the universe and I saw the way of life. You say you released your pee into the universe? <laughs> yes, my pee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, daddy. Yes, Daddy, I released my pee. God damn it. <laughs> This episode needs to end now. Yeah. Yep. We're done. Goodbye. Thank you for enlisting everyone. <laughs>